What's going on YouTube? Good Call 6 here. Here to show you some cards. Uh, my pickup video over probably, I think, what's it been? Three weeks, month. Uh, the last month, I got quite a bit of stuff to show. Uh, we got Absolute Set Pickups, uh, Immaculate Set Pickups, um, one a Crazy Immaculate Set Pickup, a Crazy Absolute Set Pickup, uh, and some Sweet Buck stuff. Uh, the last one I'm pretty stoked about. Actually, all these cards I'm pretty stoked about, but um, the last card is pretty sweet. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, got a lot of stuff to show. I uh, hope everyone's doing good. Buccaneers, they're on a roll right now. Two in a row. Old man. <laughs> uh, Jameis Winston's looking pretty good. Five touchdowns last week. Um, feels pretty good to be a Bucks fan right now. Um, they're, I think, one game back from the playoffs. Uh, the wild card right now. Uh, and their schedule is looking fairly decent uh, moving forward. I think they have the Colts next week, or this week. Uh, and then it's the Falcons or the Saints back-to-back, -back, which they've already beat. Uh, the, those two aren't too any slouches, but they're going to be tough to beat. But um, Bucks are playing pretty good actually right now, so it's kind of cool to see and kind of a, a good feeling to be a Bucks fan right now. So um, enough of me blabbering. We'll get into the set pickups. Uh, I got a bunch of absolute set pickups. Uh, most of them are lower end uh, of the sets. I think I have 17 out of the 34 right now, so halfway. Uh, which is pretty sweet, but what I have left are uh, mostly the bigger names, so um, they're probably going to come, probably going to be tougher, tougher to pick up, uh, so all these are combined shipping for the win, so uh, first up, Joseph Fourier, I was not going to let him be the last set, or last card to pick up out of this set, so just like on my Frost set, uh, next up, Gavin Escobar, sucks the autograph goes off sticker, but oh well, uh, next up, Harry Douglas, his is kind of different because this is actually in uh, black ink compared to everyone's blue ink. Uh, next up, Kimbrell Tompkins. Stedman Bailey. I think it just got suspended again. I'm not sure, but. Uh, Prince and Mucamara. Uh, Tim Wright. Wish this was a Bucks uniform, but I really liked him as a Buck. Uh, he hasn't done much with Detroit or the Patriots, so. Um, Kind of like the look of this one, actually. Uh, Paul Puzlesny. This one just pops to me the most from what I've seen. So, nice card there. Plus, he's a really good player. Uh, next up, Sean Lee. This guy could stay healthy. He'd be a beast. Actually, he's a beast when he plays. But uh, this guy is a beast in his own. Tyron Matthew. Happy to get that one. Um, and the, the biggest card that I picked up out of this set over the last month or so, um, Mr. Jerry Rice. <laughs> Figure this one would take me a while to find just because I'm sure that I don't know the SP count on them, but I'm sure the the higher name guys are pretty short printed. Uh, two four Nathan Oak, my buddy, uh, actually texted me and said that his LCS owner had one of these and was about to put it on eBay. So um, had a little spending money to spend on it and pulled the trigger and picked it up, which was pretty sweet of him to let me know about it. So um, pumped to get that one in. Uh, that's probably him and Brett Favre are probably the two biggest cards I have in that set. So uh, now on to the other set. The Immaculate set. I think in my last video I said it was 30 cards. I looked back again and printed the checklist off and it's actually 20 cards. So it might not take me the three years that I said it was on the video. But um take me a little bit quicker than that. But I don't know. It, it The big cards are big cards. So those are going to be tough to pick up. Um, nice, first up is a nice LaShawn McCoy. Uh, four color patch autograph. Nice looking card, rainbow foliage. Looking to pick up multicolor patches on these. I don't want any white patches or one color patches or anything like that. So I'm being picky about it. Um, next up, I've always wanted an autograph of this guy, so I'm pretty excited to get this one in. Uh, Philip Rivers. This was a four color, white, yellow, baby blue, navy. So excited about this one. And the final pickup for that set which I got in yesterday, I think. Uh, really excited to pick this up. Um, I was looking to pick up one of the bigger cards, not the crazy big ones, but um, the kind of the, the middle of the range tier, the not the lower end one, but the middle end one. So I um, ended up picking this one up and snagging this one for what I thought was a pretty good pretty good buy. Uh, this one is the Bo Jackson three color patch autograph, numbered to 25. So yeah, I think this is the second one of these I've seen. No, I haven't even. No. I started the set after the first one I saw sold. So um, this is the first one I've seen at auction. So I threw a bid on it and ended up winning it. So pretty excited about that. First Bo Jackson autograph for the 
collection. So can't go wrong with that. So I think I have those three plus West Walker. So I have four out of the 20. So fifth of the way done with that one. Um, be a slow and steady race. So um, now on to the Bucks pickups. Yeah, Bucks pickups. Um, really excited to get this one. I was excited to see that Panini started putting autographs of him in their stuff. Uh, Derek Brooks. This one's numbered 35 out of 50. The, I don't even know what this one's called. Probably just a blue prism parallel. I don't know. Mojo parallel. I think that's what Panini calls some of them. Um, but yeah, excited to get that. Got that one actually a while ago. Um, next up I got this. Uh, I have, uh, for Doug Martin's contenders, I have his base 9510 autograph, his variation 9510 autograph, his cracked dice. I have his a BGS 9 with a 9 autograph. Uh, so I really only needed, needed the playoff ticket. Uh, and this one popped up and I threw a bid on it. I'd like to upgrade to a BGS 9510, but this one will do for now. Uh, this is the playoff ticket of Doug Martin, graded a BGS 910. Uh, edges looks like it took the 8.5 on this one, so I haven't really looked it over, see if it's worth the resub or not. But um, just haven't thrown a bid on it. Plus, this dude had a monster game last week, so I'm um, excited to get this one in. Like I said I've, in my past videos, I've kind of been selective on his stuff just because I have so much of it. So I'm really only looking to pick up stuff that I don't have of his rookie years, kind of the, the short, shorter printed stuff. But um, excited to get this one in. This is my first Dougie pickup for a few months at least probably. Um, next up, on to the Mike Evan pickups. Evans pickups. Um, we'll save that. Yeah, we'll save this. This one I got for a really good deal, I thought. These cards were selling crazy when this stuff first came out, but that was right around when his stuff was hot. So his stuff's kind of lowered down, but I wanted to pick one of these up. Uh, this is that of Limited, the Phenom Patch Autograph, number 1099. Oh, I already showed this one in this last video. The one with, where Josh gave me the care package. <laughs> um, so yeah, here you go. You get to see it again. I guess I had it in the stack to, to show in my video. So enough of that blabbing on that one. Uh, I got a nice pickup for the Prism Rainbow. Uh, this is the neon green yellow prism parallel, um, numbered to 75 and a 9510. I think I have four or five 9510s out of that rainbow, and there's 17 cards that I have right now. So, probably going to send in my gold one to 10. Hopefully, that comes back a 9510. So, um, and now on to the last two pickups. I already have one of these that I showed in probably a couple of months ago, maybe my last video my last mail day video i don't know um this one popped up on a buy now or best offer i offered what i paid for it this time uh, and the guy didn't accept it he just let it sit there and expire i think so um and then it popped up in a standard auction with uh, the the same bid that i offered to him in the the buy it now so i just threw a bid on it and won it at the last second so um this is the 2015 spectra uh, Mike Evans, the orange parallel Nike swoosh. This one is numbered one out of three. I don't know if it'll get there, but uh, one of three. So I think I have. I think the other one I have is three of three. So I have one of three and two or one of three and three of three. So I need the two of three. Would be kind of cool to get all three of them. So if anyone sees that one pop up, let me know. Awesome card. Got a bunch of shine to it. Kind of that refractorish. Or uh, super fractorish, the black super fractorish that they put to the used to put towards their prism 101. So, um, oh shit, as I drop it, sweet. <laughs> um, and now on to the last pickup. So pumped to this for this card, I've never seen this card. Um, this might be the only captain patch or the actual, the actual captain patch uh, of a Buccaneer player to be made. I'm, I might be wrong, but. Um, I'm sure next year when Jameis Winston's a captain, he'll get one. But that one's going to go for too much money than wh what I want to pay. So um, I was more than happy to pick this thing up. This this popped up on eBay uh, for a crazy bite now. I offered on it. He countered for a bunch more than what I wanted to pay. And then I countered him with my highest offer. And he messaged me the next day saying, hey, I'll take that offer. So we did it off eBay. Um, but I'm really happy with it. This is out of 2014 Panini Immaculate Collection. Vincent Jackson, numbered three out of four. 
like I was saying, the whole captain's patch, I, you don't see many of these pop up. I know a few years back I was saying I wish they'd make these captain patches. And now finally one popped up of a Buccaneer player. So pretty awesome to, to pick this one up. I don't know if there's another one. There might be another one. Uh, captain's patch. I'm not sure though. Um, I know there's a pirate ship flag, two of them. So, and I haven't seen the other one. So um, really excited to get this one. Awesome, awesome, awesome pickup. I actually have some pretty crazy VJAX. I have a Super Fractor, uh, his Emerald Diamond of 5, but I don't have many autographs of him. Um, so this one is probably the coolest Vincent Jackson that I have in my collection. Um, probably one of the most unique patches I have in the, the collection. So, yeah, there's that. And that is it. I was expecting one card to come in, but it's kind of lost in the mail, it looks like. Um, so that hopefully will be here this weekend. And there's another card that I picked up the other day, a pretty big card, pretty big Mike Evans card. So um, that one's on the way, should be here this week. Uh, other than that, nothing else coming in. As you see, I kind of went crazy the last month or so when I said I shouldn't be. But these cards just keep popping up and it's tough not to buy them. So um, yeah, other than that, hope everyone has an awesome Thanksgiving. Uh, awesome seeing the, the absolute bullshit breaks. Those are pretty sweet, uh, those cards. The custom cards and stuff with uh, Dominus Infinitus, uh, Purple GT, James Fight on 5-2, and a couple other ones. Oh, Josh? Yeah, Josh Style Style. Um, those are pretty sweet. Uh, I like watching those breaks. So, uh, yeah, hope everyone has a good, uh, happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your time with your family. Um, pig out neat. Other than that, thank you for watching. Go Bucks. See you later. Bye.